It is true. After many years of guessing and looking, scientists have finally found the first white hole. What exactly is a white hole? Why does it interest astronomers? How does the discovery affect you as a person? Stay tuned because we will tell you about the first white hole ever found by scientists. What's a white hole? A white hole is a weird cosmic phenomenon that gushes out material rather than dissipates. To put it another way, it is the antithesis of a black hole. On the other hand, white holes are not as well understood as black holes and their development. What does the ultimate white hole look like? Is it scary? There's a lot more on that coming up shortly. Stick around. They are usually called wormholes, wherein a black hole acts as an entry point for a tunnel across space and time that finishes in a white hole somewhere else in the universe. Einstein's theory suggests that black holes contain a state of infinite gravity called a singularity at their centers, which would prevent anything from passing through to the white hole on the other side. However, this is highly controversial. Controversial about this. According to some theorists, white holes may be seen in a new light if Einstein's theory and quantum theory are combined. Rather than the escape from a wormhole, they may reflect a slow motion repeat of the initial black hole's creation. The theory of white holes. The mathematical curiosity about black holes led to the discovery of the theory of white holes. Using Einstein's field equations, Carl Schwarzschild discovered the equation of mass in void spacetime, a mathematical illustration of a black hole. If you're fond of space phenomenon, consider subscribing to our channel. Schwarzschild developed an equation for a black hole that has always been and whose size has not changed. We get a white hole when we turn back time. White holes are said by some scientists to be hypothetical, although obeying general relativity and being mathematically sound, and to go against the second rule of thermodynamics. As long as the entropy of the cosmos continues rising, that slight drop in entropy can occur. White holes, which eject matter, break this rule, contrary to black holes, which are adept at expanding the disorder of space. Black holes would turn into white holes if they could not evaporate and contract due to space-time limitations. In 2006, a 102-second long gamma ray burst was discovered by NASA's Swift spacecraft. It didn't, however, seem to be connected to any star explosion. However, Researchers propose that GRB 060614 might have been a white hole a few years later. The ultimate white hole. On the other hand, a white hole's aftermath might be present everywhere. The Big Bang's explosion of matter and energy appears to black hole scientists to be possible white hole activity. Haggard observed that the geometry is similar in the two scenarios, even to the extent of at times being mathematically identical. Math. Cosmologists refer to this image as the Big Bounce. Some are looking for distinctive white hole structures in the universe's first light that can be seen. Ravelli also speculates that intense radio bursts might be the screams of hypothetical small black holes from the Big Bang that convert to white holes. However, this theory seems less and less credible. What's the central contradiction between a white hole and a black hole? And what contradiction led scientists to believe that white holes could exist? We'll tell you more getting to the end of this video. Haggard believes that physicists should go down this rabbit hole, even though the cosmos might not bend into all the shapes that general relativity enables. Why wouldn't you look into whether or not white holes have intriguing effects, he said. Although the effects might not be what you had anticipated, it would be reckless to disregard them. Why white holes were believed to be non-existent. General relativity theoretically describes white holes, but their formation is unknown. When a star disintegrates into a tiny volume, a black hole encloses that portion of space. However, watching this video backward is illogical from a purely physical standpoint. An event horizon exploding into a functioning star would resemble an egg that had been scrambled by itself. Defying the statistical law that states the universe should become messier with time. Even if substantial white holes did develop, they would probably disappear quickly. Any emitted matter would crash with the orbiting matter causing the system to disintegrate into a black hole. Hal Haggard, a theoretical physicist at Bard College in New York asserted, a long-lived white hole, I think, is highly implausible. The Contradiction For long, white holes appear to have the same fate as wormholes, mathematically possible space-time distortions that were probably impossible in practice. But in recent years, some physicists have revived white holes to prevent their darker siblings' untimely demise. 
Black holes have been the subject of intense dispute among physicists since Stephen Hawking discovered that they emit energy in the 1970s. Many people wonder what happens to the internal record of everything a black hole devoured if it disappears, and both quantum mechanics and general relativity preclude the information's erasure. A black hole dies in what way? We are unsure. A white hole's birthplace. Perhaps a black hole dies and becomes a white hole, explained Ravelli. The two questions fit together, but moving from one to the other requires violating the general relativity equations. Ravelli is credited with creating quantum loop gravity, an ineffective effort to transcend general relativity by explaining space as being constructed from tiny particles like Legos. He and a scenario where a black hole shrinks to the point that it no longer abides by the rational laws of stars and pool balls were guided by the instruments from this framework. When quantum randomness takes hold, the black hole might change into a white hole at the particle level. According to Haggard, such a microgram-sized white hole with a mass comparable to a human hair would lack the gravitational drama of its black hole ancestor but conceal a vast interior carrying the data of everything it had ingested in its former existence. The white hole might remain stable enough to finally vomit out all the data gathered by its predecessor while being too small to attract orbiting matter. In this illustration, white holes would eventually take control of the cosmos after the stars and black holes had withered away. Haggard speculates that the things could have been quite massive particles back then, but those times would have been in the future, countless billions of times the age of the cosmos today. It's the craziest time scale I've seen in physics, Haggard said. Thanks for watching this video. You can find more on space discoveries here. A planet better than Earth ever discovered in our galaxy. The Earth isn't our last hope, and that video is one of our best. We'll see you over there.